Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. And today I am going to be doing an updated wear and tear on my YSL Lulu bag in the medium size. Now I have had this bag for almost two years now. I believe that I purchased it in January, 2018. Um, and this is one of my most used bags. So. First, I guess I will share with you um, why I love this bag and what I use it for. And then we'll get into like the details on the wear and everything like that. So I use this bag, especially when I am working, probably most of the time. I would say I work three days a week, so half of my week I am usually using this bag. And the reason for that is because it fits so much. So, um, I am a hairstylist and I carry like a really big, I should have brought it here actually, um, like a big kind of thick notebook, the size of basically the size of the bag, half of the bag. Um, and I put it in one big front compartment and that takes up most of the bag. Um, but why am I telling you this? Oh. Yeah, so basically the reason why I use this bag for work is because of its size. I do bring a lot with me. On a day-to-day -day basis, I normally tend to go to smaller bags when I am not at work, but because I do use that book for work and I bring snacks and stuff like that to work because I'm there for long hours, um, I like to have a big bag with me. So um, yes, I like it because of its size. I like it because of its price point. I find that it's not like as expense obviously it's an expensive bag we are talking about luxury here that's what i talk about on my channel for the most part as far as bags and shoes go um but i find that it's not like you know chanel's price point but it gives you that chanel look because it is so luxurious i believe this is lambskin leather maybe i'm wrong matalassia leather which is definitely more durable than a lambskin um, but it gives that like buttery silky smooth feel and so I'm not afraid to wear it to work I guess that's where I'm trying to get to I'm not afraid to wear it because it is at a lower price point When I purchased this I think it was below two thousand dollars and now it went up So the value of this bag definitely has gone up um, And yeah, I'm not afraid to wear it. I can throw it around a little bit and not be so worried um and yeah, that's basically it as far as why I like it. Oh, and of course I love the way it feels, the size, the color, the hardware. I'm definitely a silver hardware girl. Um, I love the chevron detail to it. And I love that it is not super structured. I like kind of like slouchy bags in a way. It depends on the style of the bag. Um, so yeah, that's why I love it. And Let's get into the details of the wear and tear. So, as I am, this is the first time that I'm actually looking for details or little things about the wear. Um, so, the two uh, leather parts on the strap, I'm not really seeing much, just, yeah, there really isn't much wear on this. It looks basically brand new. Um, there is no tarnishing at all on the hardware, which is great. The first thing that I notice when I look at the wear is just the shape. You can see that the sides have gone in over here. So if you guys like structure on a bag, this is probably not the bag for you. Unless you're open to a little bit of like a slouchiness, uh, then I would go for this bag. So you can see that the sides kind of like dip in. And when I am not using this bag, I do take everything out or I leave some in and then I'll stuff it. Um, and even with doing that, I'm still getting the slouch. So I do have some things in it now, but you can see that the side the corner is kind of slouched in. That does not bother me. Um, kind of isn't as bad when you're holding it. You can still see that it'll stick out like that. Now, the wear on the corners. And guys, I throw this bag around. Like, I put it on the floor and stuff. I'm not, like, the greatest with my bags. Um, there is minimal minimal corner wear like really minimal i can see a little tiny tiny bit of rubbing but i don't know if you guys can see there's really nothing and like anything that you're seeing here could just be wiped 
off with like a wipe. I, I didn't really wipe down my bag, but the corners don't really show much wear. This, this bag I've had for two years, and like I said, I use it a lot, so a tiny little thing of rubbing right there. Um, other than that, you guys, this bag literally looks good as new. Like, other than the slouch, of course. But like I said, that's gonna happen with a couple wears. Um, the hardware does have some scratches, but I mean, that's gonna happen no matter what. Like I said, I do just throw this bag around. Um, but overall, the outside appearance of the bag held up so much. I am, like, I was expecting to find, you know, little things, but nothing. The leather doesn't even have a scratch on it, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, and the quilts are still really puffy, which I like. Now, getting to the inside of the bag, I actually still have <laughs> the blue wrapping on the zipper, which is funny. I don't know if you can see it, but... Um, yeah, you guys, there's like no, there's like one little scratch there, but I have a lot of stuff in it now. Um, but the inside looks so good. It's literally, I can't believe for what I do to this bag, how good it looks. Um, I'm super impressed. And what else can I say about this bag? I don't find that it's super heavy. Um, I normally always wear it on the shoulder like this. Um, I never go for it double. Yeah, that's kind of like weird. I don't like it because it, I don't know. I, I don't really like short double straps like that. But I honestly don't have anything, like literally not one thing bad to say about this bag. Um, other than if structure bothers you, the sides do kind of like come in inwards. Um, yeah, I, that's it for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I do have a video that got a ton of views, Darusha Katora. Hey girl, if you are happen to be watching this, um, thanks for shouting me out. She had a made a video about this bag and she shouted me out. I was one of the videos that she actually looked into before buying her bag. So thank you for that. If you guys want to check out that video, um, I will link it down below for you guys. But yeah, this is my two year update on my YSL Lulu bag. Definitely check me out on Instagram and see how I style this bag and pair it with my accessories and my shoes. My name on there is trendy thread underscore and I would love to have you back. So subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.